Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be planning the month of April and these are all highlights of the day. And I'm using Scribble Prince Co's November Mystery Kit monthly. And as usual, I like to white out the days of the week and the month. And I like to white out a little bit on the edge because I don't like how it shows uh, when I put down a box. And the washi banners on top doesn't extend all the way to the edge so I just white it out so you won't be able to see it. And I did opt for the deco sidebar because I don't plan this functionally. I just use it as a memory spread. So to cover up the days that aren't in the month, I use washi from Simply Gilded and Print Prussian. And this washi is a collab with Ones More of Love. And I opted to use Simply Gilded's hollow inverted bows. So I originally wanted to do this day by day, but then I started putting down um, stickers for the 6th and the 28th. So here I'm just counting the number of days that I published a plan with me or a video on YouTube. So I'm using um, Aura Spell Planners from Once More of Love to track that down. So for the first, it was my cousin's birthday, so I used the fancy label, and then I also published a plan with me that day, which was my A6 rings. And then for the second, I made an order for Erin Condren because it was its warehouse sale. And then Friday was, or the third, I published another plan with me, so I just used that. Um, a munchkin um, peeking behind a or a cell cloud planner. And then the fourth, I watched Onward. And I was also going to write everything out, and I didn't do that until the 8th. So then for the 5th, it was Simply Gilded's Easter Basket. I was able to snatch one um, when it just released for Sunday, which was around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then for the six, I used a, well, I already marked that down with um, a fancy label and a Skype icon or online learning munchkin from What's Worth Love. And then the seventh, it was Oristel's release, mini release. So I was able to get a first blush, but I didn't really like the color, so I already sold it. So yeah. And then for the eighth, it was also Passover. So I used a script from Scribble Prince Co. And then I used an Oristel planner to mark down the plan with me I published. And here I'm just using a script from my shop to mark down I had new releases that day. And I also got a package from Erin Condren. So I was trying to find a planning munchkin, or yeah, a planning munchkin. So I just used one of the really old uh, Once More of Love sticker. And then the 10th, it was Simply Gilded's new releases. I haven't bought any washi, well, other than the Easter basket, I haven't bought any Simply Gilded washi since last year. So I was missing my washi. So I had to get some and I got two grab bags. And then the 11th, I haven't had sushi in a very long time since um, stay at home order was in place. So I just put down a piece of washi and a quarter box, a squared off quarter box. 
and I originally wanted to just put down the squared off quarter box but I put down the washi later and that my character sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And it was also Easter on Sunday, so I marked it down with a piece of hollow inverted washi from Simply Gilded and a squared off box. And instead of just trimming it um, to the edge or to where the box ends where I whited it out, I just trimmed it to the edge. And here I'm marking down uh, that I had class that day. So then I also had new releases and they published another plan with me. And I forgot to write that um, something down for the 13th. And then the 14th, I didn't really have much, um, something I wanted to highlight. So I just used washi. So for the 15th, I just published a plan with me, so I marked it down with a fancy label. So for the 16th, it was my co-worker's birthday, so I used a squared off box and a Nana sticker from Paper Shire. And here I found my washi tape from Printpression, and this also is part of the collab from Once More of Love. So I just marked, um, I used it as a decorative piece on the 15th and the 16th. And then for the 17th, I didn't want too much white space, so I just used a piece of washi and marked down that I published another plan with me. So I've been actually publishing plan with me consistently for a month, and I'm very proud of myself. So, yeah. And to mark down um, a concert, I used a squared off box, and it was Together at Home, One World, which was part of global citizen and Lady Gaga was the main host of it or I shouldn't say main host so then for the 19th I just put down pieces of washi and I later added a decorative um, a deco sticker from the kit and for the 20th I didn't want the full box to cover up the day so I just trimmed it so I just lined it up where I wanted to put it and I just used it other dates to line everything up so I wouldn't be covering the dates. So I got accepted as an affiliate for Erin Condren, which I was pretty excited about. So I marked it down with a munchkin holding a planner and has a heart. And then I also published another plan with me that day. And then for the 21st, I wanted to mark down that I was designing a bunch. And that onesie emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. So for the 22nd, it was also Erin Condren's um, new theme release or reveal. So I marked it down with a one's more of love planner icon and I also published another plan with me so then for the 23rd I wanted to mark down I was designing again so I used the build do label from the kit and I just put washi down to layer it underneath and 24th was payday as well, so I marked it down with a payday script from my shop, and it was also SPC's six-year bundle. So I used a steamy sticker 
holding a bunch of stickers and money and it says take my money and the 25th I didn't have much to mark so I just layered a bunch a few pieces of washi So for the 26th, I marked down that I published my first new release video. Um, someone in the comments suggested that I do new release videos and I was pretty excited to do one and I so far has been have been doing three releases, new release videos, so yeah. So for the 27th, it was Erin Condren's Life Planner launch, so I ordered, I made an order for the Daily Duo and Hourly, and by the time you're watching this, I already published those videos for my Erin Condren haul and my Franken Planner. So then for the 28th, I marked down, I had a plan with me, and it was also a virtual job fair at school. So then for the 29th, I just marked a, day, uh, a plan with me, so yeah. And for the 30th, I used a full box to make a flag. So I just cut it up um, at an angle. I folded the full box and then cut it at an angle. And here I'm just covering up the days that aren't in the month for the month of April. So I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Until next time, bye!